News alert still, the Letitia Stout trial continues into week two. And today, a former 11 News reporter took the witness stand who had an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with the murder suspect. We've told you, Letitia Stout is accused of killing her 11-year-old stepson, Gannon, in 2020. Let's turn to 11 News reporter Melissa Henry, who's been following this day after day at the El Paso County Courthouse. Melissa, that exclusive interview that aired on our station, originally on KKTV years ago, was just played in the courtroom today. Adam, that interview happened about three years ago, just days after Gannon Stauk went missing. Former KKTV 11 News reporter Spencer Wilson told the jury he was in the neighborhood where the Stauk family lived named Lorson Ranch to cover the search efforts for Gannon Stauk at the time. He says that's when Letitia Stauk pulled up next to him in a white van and criticized his reporting on that search. He says she seemed angry at the fact that reporters were there to cover it. That's when Wilson asked Stauk if she was willing to talk about her concerns on camera and let the community know what her message was at the time. She did agree, but had her back facing the camera. Wilson told the jury that in that interview, Letitia Stauk's behavior raised red flags. And this was the thing that was the most interesting to me and why I remember it so much is that uh, I asked is there anything that you would want to say to Gannon? She said yes, gave her statement, and I said, okay, we got it. And then she said, you know, what if we did that one more time? And I said, sure, whatever you want. So I went back, turned the camera back on, but this time she was crying when she was not crying the first time, and her demeanor completely changed. As was pointed out by one of the defense attorneys this afternoon, Letitia Stauk did say the reason she didn't want her face to the camera at the time was because she said she was concerned for her safety. Live at the El Paso County Courthouse, Melissa Henry, KKTV 11 News. Okay, Melissa, thank you. Let's